Hello, ladies, gents, and savages, pulling the toilet paper from the bottom. Oh, I am, I am so extreme about this issue. You put the toilet paper roll in a way that you pull the paper from the top. Anything else is some kind of horrendous, uncivilized savagery that I can just uh, christening the run, just. Getting the run going, take a point of damage, it needs to happen. It's how it needs to happen for me to have a good time. It's blocking! Even the people that just leave the toilet paper on the counter as some kind of hobo, that is more acceptable that than putting that toilet paper at the bottom. No, I have not taken you back to 2009 when this discussion was a funny meme on the internet. You have not suddenly traveled back in time. Ooh, what you got? What you got, fella? I am going to partake of these items and I will pay you nothing for it. Let me show you exactly how it'll go. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely moron. I love it. When I get my way, everything works out. Filthy scammer. This is why I shoot him straight in the face. Because he has nothing of worth at any point. Usually I've been taken to going through these caves pretty thoroughly. Whenever it's open. Because Ratface is around and he will sell you freaking jetpacks. It's, a, it's a, an amazing, amazing fella. It's going to solve your life forever. Tempting to grab some health from these turkeys. But, you know, no bombs. Oh, jeez, this guy came all the way down here. It's all right. Don't worry about it. We're going to, to work out around this. No, no big deal. We can still stomp him a little bit. He's not going to be any matter. We already... Uh, all right, he's got uh, climbing gloves, but we don't really care about those. We already have them. So Gronk is completely out of luck. He will remain asleep forever. Tempted to just completely ignore this damn key. Because I am so fed up of the Ocharai spawning hole. It's alright. Everything's fine. Just spent a rope. It's fine. Everything's fine. Actually, I could have just shot and jumped. And used my beautifully newly across... Oh, please, don't throw the run away. Taking all this dumb damage over there, Vigo, is going to make my life much easier. You can keep that little uh, key. Savage. You disgusting jungle man. You can keep that. I'll be back for it later. Well, maybe I shouldn't have given him that shotgun, but, you know, I, I made the choice in the sp spur of the moment. I am sure this cat will make it to the exit the way I want it, so it's all good. And I have to spend a bomb to get to this Ujarai because there ain't no opening, right? Nope. No way in there. Just gotta go down there. I don't know, it's just, uh, I'm very passionate about this toilet paper positioning. Uh, anything that pertains to the toilet and all the idiosyncrasies that need to happen there. Well, the cat did not go where I want it. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, I forgive you, Vigo. You are just extremely stupid. What do you want me to do about it? I'll just have to leave. And uh, we'll have to just feast on Mole Man's entrails for a respite to my stupidity. Please face the other way so that I can properly follow my flowchart. I just uh, I greet you extremely savagely. Yes, everything's savage today. That is the word. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> you come back. Only have one bomb. Please. Please, small man. Stop playing with my feelings. Stop toying with me. Please depart. Go over there. And make a nice big hole for yourself. Why you do this to me? I want to leave. He has stuff. He has stuff inside his butt. And I want him to die. How can this not have worked? But now he's just stuck there, isn't he? This is a cursed run. The curse is myself. I am the curse. Pretty sure that is just my fate forever. <laughs> I just want him to roll out of that situation. He's not gonna, though. Uh, maybe I can 
<laughs> you can just hop around stupidly until this problem solves itself. I really don't want to leave. He has good stuff inside his belly. Maybe we can curse him, actually. But then, if I curse him, I still need to do a point of damage to him. Maybe I couldn't curse him and rope him? I don't know, man. It's just... This is stupid. <laughs> Why didn't you roll the other way? Why didn't you roll the other way? I'm just leaving. I'm just... This is, this is so dumb. This is so stupid. Yeah, just, just gotta leave. Hope uh, we can find some bombs along the way. <laughs> that was not my brightest moment, okay? You don't have to make me feel bad in the comments. You don't need to put a timestamp. Saying, <laughs> look at Blargo being so stupid. <laughs> Classic Blargo. No, you don't do that. You say... Good luck next time, champ. You did what you could. Thanks for the company. Thanks for the entertainment. That's the, the proper thing to say. Trying to burn this turkey because I am slightly. I am slightly famous. <laughs> oh, Why does you have to constantly make my life hard? All right. Crisis averted. I think my torch is now in lava, so... Oh well, <laughs> let's see if we can find a key for Mr. Horseface, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Already had to tra travel all the way up there. Yeah, look at it. it uh, obviously, I can't even get there, so let's get my diamond. Get the hell out. Horseface may not be rescued today. Get me out of here. Not roasted in the face, please. I would appreciate it. It's so silly. It's so freaking dumb. In the background, I have... I figure it wouldn't really take any resources I have because it's just copying files. I have a giant pile of files. I save. I don't save the raw capture because a raw capture of a one hour Splunky session is a good 40 gigabytes, you know? So I gotta delete those. But I will keep the processed files that are maybe two, three gigabytes. I will keep all of those and they really fill up your hard drive and now and then I need to plug some external hard drives that I bought for this particular purpose. They're pretty cheap external hard drives these days. I think they were like 50 bucks each or something like that. I bought them way back with YouTube money. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I'm watching for it, don't worry. I am watching for this bow though. It would be, be great to grab the bow and not, you know deplete my thing yes indeed it will be it will be fantastic to get this bow there you go uh, fantastic yeah 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 um, I have in the background it's just copying files it's I don't feel oh wait wait this out this can be horrendous poor rat face getting a little heat a, a little bit of heat in the face if you need a little heat in your face that's what I'm here for It's all good. Just, just burn, burn it all down. Copying those files to the external hydra. Oh man, there was some turkey over there and killed my poor little major stupid. Just get the hell out of here. <laughs> Cause boy, do those piles of files take up a ton of space. So uh, if there's a weird message, a, a weird sound like boom. Because it wants to overwrite something. I might have to deal with it. Pause the recording a moment. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. But I figured it would not take any resources. It's just copying from one hard drive to the next. And neither of them is involved in the recording process. Because I record the file to a different, much faster drive as I, as I play. So I thought it would be fine. So far I've not noticed any kind of uh, ralentization. Any slow down whatsoever so hopefully it'll stay that way i do it maybe once a year i'll have to empty out files and put them in those backup drives the backup drives are 1.5 terabytes full now so i'm gonna ha run out of space pretty soon i don't know why i keep i need to leave i need to vacate the premises not get roasted into this lava Man, if I had the bombs, would I definitely create my very own shaft. As it stands, though, we're just going to have to 
Just brave the fire. This is good. This is fine. Let's just chase that blob of fire and we'll be, we'll be just fine. Nobody cares. I was hoping to get that fire bug. There was another one behind it, though, so it was not a completely worthless shot. I don't know why I hoard the videos, especially when they are on the YouTube channel. You know, they are uh, uh, perusable at any point. You just go and search for it on the channel. I am just paranoid that YouTube would, would just randomly delete me from existence. And I'm like, man, I recorded all that nonsense for so many years and I have absolutely no, you know, no, no remnant of it. Nothing actually left over to show. Yeah, I recorded this. Check this out. Check all these files. Will I ever watch them? Will I ever do anything with them? No, <laughs> I doubt it very much. I don't think I'll go into five-year-old videos. At this rate, is going to be 10 years. Holy crap, it was 2013, my first teleglitch video. Let me get myself a little bit of sacrificial flesh. You guys don't have names. You don't matter whatsoever. All that you, I care about is the souls I can give to my mistress. You're nothing but size. Into space. Trash. Your pathetic whispers into thunder. That's what I consider you. Well, we have reached this far. No bombs. <laughs> I've just now realized I lack the bombs to be able to get this bow where I want it to be. So I guess what we're going to do is give this bow to one of my slaves. Did I just completely berate them and make them as completely worthless? Well, turns out that they are going to save my ass because otherwise I will not be able to carry the bow all the way while also doing the quest line. So, turns out having these slaves is going to hopefully make. Well, this is a little too close for comfort, but hopefully I can. Oh no, oh no, please, no, no, no bully. We'll just have to uh, do this the old fashioned way, alright? Because I'm just too damn stupid. <laughs> too freaking dumb to do this properly. Actually, it was not that much of a crisis. It was just a small setback. Not a big deal. Oh, okay. Not a big deal. We're going to get this done easily. No, no, no. Recenter yourself. Take it easy. What the f That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is the Olmec fight still a challenge after 300 hours of this game? <laughs> it's not my fault. It's the climbing gloves. It's, it's, it's the, the poor, sad, pathetic state of my brain. After I spent so many hours playing this game, okay, my brain is completely melted. I cannot be blamed for the nonsense that takes place but we're still carrying on it's yes it is a one point of health situation of course a bat can end my life at any moment i'm going to persevere this is going to work out <laughs> this is going to be the most hard fought cosmic ocean attempt you have witnessed this month at least you have not seen a man struggle this much since I taped that one gigantic dump in 2003. And I put it on the internet for everybody to see. Did everybody admire the vein I popped as I strained to push out that log. Brown pineapple, they called it. What a massive, massive feat of human engineering that turd was. Oh! Let me grab the one that is most worthless, which will be the one that goes around. Like this guy that is going back and forth. He is the bad one. No, they're all going back and forth because they're all trash. So I would like to sacrifice at least one of them. Callie is here to save my ass. Oh, the, oh she's got bombs. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that freaking time, man. Gambling. Oh, 
All my pains, all my pains have been washed away by gambling. Thank you, Derek Hugh, for pushing this extremely, extremely true to life message. Go into a casino when you're almost broke and just gamble it all. It will solve all your life problems. This is what Splunky 2 has taught me time and time again. Never get tired of learning this lesson. Thank you, Mr. Yu, for being so amazing at teaching gambling to impressionable kids. Thank you so much. All right, we're, we're all done. Now I am capable of accessing my beautiful mistress. You fellas need to uh, calm down so that I can destroy you in the Cali Alta. See how, see how excited this fella is. He's too excited. I'm trying to figure out which one is the worst to sacrifice. Okay, don't judge me. I am just too freaking stupid to figure things out. I should stop saying that. It's going to rub off on on uh, my actual self-worth. It's all jokes. I don't really mean it. I don't consider myself a genius. I don't think I am also stupid. If I were 100% truthful, I would just put me at above average on the intelligence uh, scale. Let's just say sometimes it wouldn't seem that way. <laughs> but need to uh, need to stop with the self berating a little bit. Because it might get to me. Wow. You guys know that without boots, you get hurt by octopus. Maybe I should berate myself a little bit more. Because, you know, this above average situation is not panning out. Maybe I am completely mistaken. And in fact, I am as sharp as a potato. When it comes to thought and critical decision making. <laughs> I thought I had boots, okay? You get this far, you normally have some form of boots. I just took it for granted. All I'm wearing is some freaking some freaking moccasins. Just sad flip-flops. That's why I trip over myself so much, because my flip-flops just constantly make me almost fall. That's why Paco's so clumsy. Because he wears flip-flops flip to, uh, to the tide pool. Yes, actually, they are very nice, shiny dress shoes. And he is very fond of them, and that's why he loathes to use any other footwear. Does not like to equip anything else. At least I got plenty of slaves. I guess I got that, that upside to my life. It's all right. I, look, I always squander the Ankh in some other way. Might as well get it out of the way now. You know? That's the way that I'm going to see it. It's not squandering the Ankh. It's just following the natural order of things. We don't talk about my fish failures. We just carry on forward. Look, the little fish may be able to annoy me, but the big fish cannot get me anymore. Oh, look at that. Reward if I'm for my diligence. Finally, I'm able to take revenge on those filthy octopi. What kind of octopus grows spikes on his forehead? A jerk-off octopus, that's what. Fucking jerk. Garbage octopus. That has no idea what evolution is supposed to be like. What the hell do you think you are? This is a... A wonderful army I got going for myself. Each and every one carries one of my items. There are my three idiot men. Each one of you has a mission. Instead of bringing mirror incense and gold, they bring bows, clone guns, and swords. For I am the second coming of Jesus! <laughs> Do you see this one coming? I did that totally on purpose, baby. That was absolutely amazing, and I hope that you appreciate it. Sometimes I have my my flashes of brilliance. Aren't you? Aren't you amazed that I got myself 
That sweet jelly for... I mean, obviously, I didn't know there was jelly in there, but... Uh, destroying the present box. He destroyed it, so I don't get blamed for nothing. Fantastic. There's the freaking hole. Let's just go in there. Sure, time, right? Only need one minute. We have no jizz to make these bombs sticky. Should be okay to just drop four properly aligned. Of course, while putting a, a rope up. Better clear up the area a little bit. Makes me a little nervous. To be dealing with all this nonsense. Do the bubbles pop the powder case? Sure hope not. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not the way you deal with this guy. Holy crap. Come on, do it. Do your thing. There we are. This is getting so stupid, man. <laughs> this is getting so dumb. I'm just giving myself... You see, I have climbing gloves, sure. But I don't want to get roasted. So we're going to put all these ropes that I can hang on to. Get over to the side of the damn place. Alright. Okay. It's going to work out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the third rope perhaps was not the best rope ever spent. Look at this exit. This exit. It's another small troll in a long series of trolls. It wasn't that big a deal. It was just the the, the principle of it. Okay? It was just annoying as hell to have that, that exit full of lava. It was not nice. Not nice at all. Let's go find this moron, this stupid ugly turtle. I have no idea what your actual name is. I have completely forgotten it. You're just ugly turtle from now on. Don't... One of these days, man. Maybe I just need 300 more hours to never be damaged by ugly turtle. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're, we're just making everything harder for ourselves because this game is too damn easy. You know, it's just too damn easy, so best to make it challenging. Otherwise, I'll get bored. That's the way it is. Otherwise, I'm just bored of going through all this nonsense, making it real interesting. All right, probably should not make this fellow explode with all my army of idiots up here. But you see, they'll probably want to murder it. Yeah, how's it? Ugh. Something in my, my face, I had to, to spit it out. That was disgusting. All right, the danger has been averted. Let's do what we always do in the ice caves. Look, it started pretty rough, but we are, even though I don't have the Ankh, we're pretty well off right now. Vladscape, climbing gloves, spike shoes. I'm good. It's not great, but I'm pretty good. Health situation, not amazing. I would love some... Kapala, actually. It's alright, uh, it was all, all perfectly planned. Like I said, just tempting fate left and right. Just trying to prove myself grander than any kind of circumstance trying to destroy me. Just throwing myself at the arms of fate and saying, do your worst. That's me. Just defiant and unstoppable. At last. We I, it, Look! Was it rough and around the edges? Was it perhaps slightly shameful? Sure. We got that boat to the damn place. You thought it was lost. You thought that I had no option but to restart when I was with zero bombs. But no, I decided to persevere. And now I have three properly trained slaves and everything I could possibly want. So maybe stop. Get off my freaking back. Stop berating me. And face bombing as you watch this video. Yep. Yeah. And recognize my genius as I entertain you so damn thoroughly. Look at all the entertainment I'm providing for you. I'm an entertaining master. And wouldn't it be amazing if this was the run that actually made it to 799? Wouldn't that be amazing? Every run is actually aiming for that. I lately it's been feeling like I can actually get there like I can I'm like you know what been pretty damn consistent even even all the mistakes I've done right here 
Still on my way to get to the damn Cosmic Ocean. Have the ba- The cavalcade of incompetence continues. I hope that you are enjoying this parade of idiocy. Because boy, am I front and center on this uh, never-ending parade of nonsense. We got a shop there. It was full of trash. Yes, I am calling a human being trash. That's what I did. That's how much of an angry person I am, disdaining your stupid face that puts the toilet paper on the bottom. Let's see what kind of piece of trash do I do? Smiling Onyx Snake. Smiling Onyx Snake. Smiling Onyx Snake. The Black Snake smiles. The Black Snake. Ooh, great. What you got? Nice. I used to bitch and moan all the time about not being able to find things. There's a smiling black snake. Fantastic. Uh, but lately it's been so good. Though Those damn Mushaptis, they all spawn next to the exit. It's uncanny. So can't even bitch and moan about that. Just need to create more problems for myself so I can complain about them. All right. Flyboy has been attained once more. I do like being the knight in shining armor here. Please allow me to use this. I really do enjoy the look of this. <laughs> Wielding Excalibur while riding this fe this fella. Great stuff. Get me some, some health. Just park my steed. Take good care of it. Little evolved... Uh... Look, it will not be... It will not be a proper run without doing something stupid. I am already in so deep in the stupidity. I'm going to make it work. Check this out. Check this out. I mean, I kind of want to leave some bodies to sacrifice. That's the entire purpose of murdering these people. So <laughs> let go of the sword. But the entire purpose is to get bodies for Cali. I have three people out there ready to be put in a nice little sacrificial urn and Kali will be so happy to get live bodies instead of these pathetic wretches look there may have been a little bit of an impulse there cutting up that guy he was looking at me funny he was like judging me staring at my eyes and being all like Psh, don't you dare you're not worthy of being in her presence I'll show you. I'll show you who's worthy of what as I plunge my sword deep into your skull. Let me just make sure that you fellas have been properly trained to be the perfect victims. It's so great. You can all oh, follow me. I don't want to carry you. You can follow me down to the sacrificial pit. Come on. Oh, one of them was still asleep. That's why they weren't following me. You're not going to get crushed by an elevator. You're going to properly follow me all the way down here. You idiots. Sure, Pitcher Smith. I have been I, I've been converted by the Pitcher Smith. It's actually quite nice. There we are. Oh, all my health problems solved through the execution of my friends. Nothing like betrayal to get my blood pumping. Another wonderful lesson that Derek you has taught me. But this is incredibly wholesome teachings. When you are doing badly, take all your friends to a secluded area, sacrifice them to a dark god, and revel in your betrayal. Well, that was very rude. Let's get the hell out of here. Revel in your betrayal. As they writhe in agony, you will laugh in ecstasy. As the dark gods gives you... That was slightly closer than it needed to be, I uh, admit. I have been slightly too happy-go-lucky. Yeah! Too happy-go-lucky going through there, but... We have a, like a daredevil kind of run here. <laughs> Are we going to keep going with this spirit? Look, it can't all be serious, no-nonsense attempts. Sometimes you gotta get a little, a little wacky with it. And that's what I'm doing. You gotta enjoy having a 
great fun time and if i actually make it through well all the better more entertainment for the masses this is my sword to get places will it be all that useful probably not and in fact we always just uh, leave it outside because i don't like deviating from the standard probably should i get one of my slaves now that i think about it maybe i get super duper trolled by uh rat face but that's not gonna happen come on we've had already a hell of a time in this run on top of that rat face is not going to troll my ass right it's not gonna happen like that oh jeez fucking scorpion I'm, I'm starting to get a little concerned all right there it is <laughs> i was starting to be like oh shit rat face is not here that's right you had to pay for the privilege of being tested to the end of your ability let's just get it done okay actually we could have gone through the back layer and blown a path into this area of course the challenge doesn't happen that is not gonna work i just not realized that's not gonna work okay just just concentrate just concentrate she's she's good she's fine just, we don't just don't panic just whip the people kill her constantly we're actually going to come out ahead just, oh man we got oh please oh, get out of <laughs> Perfectly planned, beautiful, excellent action. Check me out. Nobody ever doubted me. It was great. I'm so happy this ruby is not getting cloned. Thank goodness. My tale of poverty and deprivation is now over. Seriously, have you seen a more catastrophic and hard fought run? I am sure you have. There's all kinds of really uh, crazy <laughs> spelunky players out there. But have you ever seen it on this channel? I think the answer to that is no. This is, I mean, at least that is still successful. I love killing me some gloop. Has become quite the tradition. Let me uh, go up to Ratface and give her the same pleasure. Look, she's uh, gender fluid. She goes back and forth. Yippla! <laughs> Oh, good luck, you piece of trash! Trying to get me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good luck trying to get me as I climb through the sunken city. There is no way you can possibly do anything to me, you idiot! Yeah, I should have a little more respect. I have no respect. They are all props. They are just steps on my ladder to ascension. That's what these idiots are. I valued for nothing. Their lives, their deeds, their words or actions, they are as grains of sand in the beach of my success. This is a little tricky, let me just wait it out and clear it. All this nonsense needs to disappear. This is a little stupid, I admit, but <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. Give me that extra blood actually gonna make it now how is hundun going to make me suffer i i always seem to find a way to uh make it far more complicated than it is we still have one more level but i'm saying i'm already looking forward to it it's pretty routine getting through the sunken city levels it's it's such a nice ah, this is not the way um it's such a nice change from Neo Babylon. I wonder if that's intentional. I don't think I don't think the difficulty was supposed to be so much lower here. And when you first come into this place, it's super harrowing and it, oh jeez. This is actually not the way forward. It's extremely intimidating when you first get here. But as you do the cosmic caution especially you realize how little danger there is here. You just watch out for the... For the... Warm meat responding onto your head. For the most part, you're not gonna... Obviously, you know, don't get too cocky. Don't get too damn overconfident and then get yourself exploded or frogged. There's still some insta-death options here. That can very much happen to you. Alright, hundun time. Let me just uh, concentrate. Because I totally crap this was way closer than it needed to be. Please show me the way forward. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Even though it's a little upsetting. 
that I don't get to stump the snaken. It's best to do it this way for my silly incompetence. We take the boat all the way to the top, get it to a safe place, then come back down and see what we can possibly do. We do 97 bombs, so uh, I should be feeling just fine. As usual, be diligent, especially after the last freaking time. It was a damn arrow trap. All right, let's see if we can get a good stomping space so uh, I don't have to work too much at it. Probably we'll just have to bomb. This is a decent spot. I don't like... There. Perfect. I don't like the water. It's going to be a little complicated. He does a little step. See, th those are not going to work out. He does a little step, and that's where you need to put the bombs. All this water is just too complicated. Let me just... Let me just... Uh, go with the planting bombs and whipping them down. That will be fine. Oh, maybe I can get here. Uh, eh, one of them landed, but no, not fatally. It's all right. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this just fine. It's not a big deal. Just uh, get them to the side. Nah, that's not gonna work out. I don't know why I try it all the time. The the stumping is actually not hard. <laughs> I told you! Hundun, I'm going to find some way to make my life way more complicated than it needs to be. These bombs are not gonna work. Trust me nuts, man. It just trust me nuts. Just, yeah. just hoping against hope. Oh, gotcha, bitch! Ooh, the bombs that I dropped earlier did do some work there. All right. One more attack. Let me maybe position myself better. Please stop. That was the plan all along. Yep, yep. That was not... That was not just improvised stomping. No, no, no. Absolutely not. I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> oh, there was bombs on the floor. That's okay. I have plenty, but still, what a loss. What a terrible loss. All right, well, Cosmic Ocean. Here we are. We fought so hard to get here. We fought so hard to get here. Was it mostly self-inflicted? You could argue. It was mostly self-inflicted. The process of getting all the way up here with barely any resources and just uh, constant problems. But look at it this way. Turning around. Like, look at all the nonsense I got up to this run. And I still got here. Isn't that a sign of hope? Isn't that something that should actually make me feel good about myself instead of being downtrodden by the absolutely idiotic and hideous amount of incompetence? Oh, I was hoping that uh, the bubble will come up with it, but it doesn't. It's, it ain't sticky. Yeah, it has Teflon on it. Will not get any kind of materials stuck to it. All right, well. You guys know the drill. Need to stop even remotely riffing on anything. Gonna start keeping track of number of bubbles. Take this shit seriously. And of course taking all the health that I can get because you know I need it. There will eventually be a fall that is almost lethal. Then a narrow will push me into some other place. And oh, you... I was way closer than I needed to be. This is number two. Yeah. And there's the exit. Is it number two? This is gonna be number three, isn't it? It was it was number two. I know it. I knew it. I get, I get confused. I get paranoid. So now I don't have a great uh, path to the exit. Absolute nonsense. Oh, there it is. Alright, this exit was pretty easy. Just gotta go back down to where I was and I already got a nice little path for it. No, you, no you, oh, you, oh, climbing gloves, fun. The climbing gloves are great. Love the climbing gloves. Get this piece of trash out of my way. See, the pitcher smith makes that kind of throw. Pretty much trivial. Just sign. Ugh, I was really hoping to get rid of that guy. Uh, just throw straight ahead. 
That's number two, huh? There's the exit. Middle, middle, I guess. Leaning toward the top. Hard to say. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna survive. Oh, man. Yet another instance of stupidity. <laughs> How much stupid can I cram into one run? This is so stupid, man. There we are. At least we got our new EC exit. It's actually a very short level. All right, give myself a nice little bit of arrow trap security. Will be fantastic. In the meanwhile, why am I even using this damn thing? That's stupid. It's just clumsy. Rely on the good old whip. The whip will get, see you through mostly anything. Eliminate all threats, etc., etc. This is a very good bubble. I'm gonna just leave it there. Just gonna leave it there. Look for one and two. Number three will be ready for the taking. All right, seven dash eight. Like I said, time to take a cereal. Can be. Look, it, it was a a harrowing ordeal to get this far. Number two. But now we're here. Plenty of resources. We're doing okay. Time to stop making idiotic mistakes. You have gotten lucky only so far. Oh, that was a, perhaps another mistake. Yep. And now there's an arrow just looping endlessly. In the middle of the top of the level. Yep. Alright. Another level complete. Gotta take it easy. We're going to make it there. Nice. We get two bubbles right next to each other. Fantastic. Love me levels like this. Give me an easy one. I think that one just looped from something that I triggered. So it looks like a pretty short level. Here we you. I appreciate it when they self crush. Really absolutely moronic hermit crabs. It's like they cra uh, crawled into a still active IED. That's the level of stupid that they are. I didn't even have to keep track of the bubbles on that one. I see some poison in the loop. Always annoying as hell. I don't need those ropes. They can get crushed for all I care. Oh, well. I don't know exactly what triggered that fella. There's number one and number two right next to it. I don't know what triggered that fella. Feels good. Feels real good. Probably should go after uh, these damn cobras. Well, not exactly what I intended. Uh, these cobras are throwing poison into the loop. Look at that bitch. Look at that bitch. Gotta get rid of it. I mean, I can just leave it alone, but I don't like poison in the loop at all. Maybe if I can just uh, keep it in my head, right? I will totally keep it in my head. I will not forget that. Destroy. Destroy the cats. Destroy everything. Uh, that's number three. So be careful here. Just be careful. Is it coming? There is the poison. It's all good. Everything's fine. I don't have to worry about anything. Ooh, nice. Some really good levels so far. I can't really complain at all. Yeah. Just keep them coming. And this one started great. There it is. Well, that's easy as hell, but I don't want to get creamed as I pop it, so I think I'm gonna put a temporized explosion next to it. After I get rid of this scumbag. Let me just... yep -la. I don't think I'll get it, actually. It did get it. Alright, never mind. So good. Almost jump in there. <laughs> I think I would have made it, but... But, you know... Be cautious. Just be cautious. Nice, and I had two bubbles right right away. Love it. And some extra bombs. Fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. Why am I grabbing? Oh, did not realize that could even happen. All right. Nice, brother. Some seeds are a struggle, but this one, after all the hardship that we faced, it's finally giving me an easy time. It's so odd. Usually that doesn't pop the bubbles. They just get stunned like like the uh, 
Enchantress Lady. Shut. These guys are those so damn dangerous. I've learned to respect the jungle so intensely. Sure, it's not Neo Babylon, it's not the temple, but it is number three for certain. Well, I thought that I could time that whip properly, but uh, obviously I am just not good enough to do very simple calculations. It's number two. Haven't seen the exit yet. Careful with this Buran boy. Aha, number three. Let's see if we can find the exit. Let's get rid of all this junk. Ah, oh, nice. E yeah. Beautiful. Oh, level complete. Man, these. Oh, everything's great. Everything's great. Was slightly closer than I needed to be. Let me get rid of that. I I've taken to Neo Babylon. It is so often that exits are protected by a force field like that. I've taken to blowing them up each and every one if I have the even remotely enough bombs to spare. It's just a lot less of a headache. I have a history of throwing my, my face straight into one of those force fields because, uh, you know, I just love the tingles that it gives me. All right, so the exit was very easy. Shoot. Oh, it's actually super close on that side too. It's a, it's a short level, but it don't matter. It don't matter. We got a plan, we're gonna follow it. More jungle. Already find a bubble right there. The real scumbags trying to curse me. You were supposed to die, but the thorns got you, you stupid idiot. That's actually right next to the exit, so I'm gonna leave it for last. Ain't no shame in saving bubbles. We are not speed running around here. It's all about reliability. That's been uh, something that I've been trying to ingrain into my head. Like stop. Stop trying to run. Like, obviously, you need to have a good pace because you got the three minutes till the jelly. But you need to stop trying to go as fast as possible. You need to stop doing that. Okay, so now uh, there is a guide right in the back, though. Oh, it's actually a plant. It's a plant. It's all good. It's all good, baby. 716. I even just stop even keeping track of the levels. Just get in the zone. Look at only the game. Look at three bubbles exit. Three bubbles exit. Three bubbles exit. That's all that matters. Who cares about the level count? You'll get there when you get there. Whoopla. That most fantastic bomb you've ever seen. Fortunately, now there's a dude in the loop. And here's a freaking unobtainable orb. Will never not be salty about orbs that are completely encased. Can't be that. Can't be hard at all to program it so that uh, these orbs are not ever encased completely. I saw Twiggle just uh, the other day. Yesterday, I think he posted it. It was pretty recent doing a low percent cosmic ocean and it's like i don't think that's one challenge that i i deem it's not theoretically what the f <sighs> at least it wasn't a stun lock <laughs> now that one i can be like look totally bad luck or you know circumstance i did most things right i just happened to get screwed um Look, it's difficult. It's difficult to reach. That is one challenge that, while not mathematically impossible, <laughs> stop talking about Twiggle and his challenges. We're not in that place. We are in our own cosmic ocean nightmare, okay? Low percent cosmic ocean is hard. Okay, that's that's all uh, the point that I'm trying to make. One orb has been popped. Lots of jungle. Seems like the jungle just loves me. Love to get jungle levels in the cosmic ocean. And one bomb should do it here. Nice. Ah, what's the third? Did not keep track of that. <laughs> Please, no in case, no in case exit. It is so annoying when. The exit is unreachable. At least we have plenty of time to find it. Oh, it was right next to the entrance. That's dumb. 
It's super dumb. Should have kept track of that. I already saw two balls. Love to reach them balls. Get them burst. Yupla. The other one was pretty easy to get. Right over there. Oh, all right. Let's find the exit. Seems easy enough. Definitely not this way, though. Be patient. All right, there it is. You can see. You gotta be patient. Especially when you're like 20 seconds into a level. Just, just chill, brother. Find the exit. Make sure you can reach it easily. Then do your thing. Not much to see here. Freaking spike pits. Another thing that I tried to ingrain in my head. See a spike pit? Stop. You see a spike pit? You stop. You look at the Yangshis around it. You look at anything I can throw you into. Don't just instantly try to jump across it. You will dearly regret it. Okay, number one and two. Already found. Loving it. Loving it so far. These levels have been excellent. Even the ones in which I screw up don't really punish me for it. See, we can find number three so we can leave. Wah! Stupid cephalopod. Uh, show me the exit, brother. I don't want to go until you point the way out. I am definitely far more fond of the alien compass than I am of the clone gun 99 bombs. The resources are great, but I think I'd much rather have a path to the, you know, to the exit every time. We have opened our path to the exit pretty easily. Now I need to remember where the hell the, the bubble was. <laughs> it's been quite the torturous path, so I think it was this way. See, the, you know, a, a spike pit, you stop, you look at it. Gotta get those little rules. Uh, I think I will make a video about all the little lessons that I have learned in the Cosmic Ocean. But I, of course, I need to finish first. I need to actually get that 799. And that's another reason why I have not made any gameplay tutorials. Other than, oh, here's this cool skip. This darkness is going to murder me. Anytime I'm going to... I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to, <laughs> to talk about some things. But anytime... I get even remotely distracted. Some nonsense be like, hey, hey, get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Don't talk about nothing. Get your head in the game. Where's the damn bubble that I actually found already? Where is it? I have found it. Can't believe this is taking... Was it, it was somewhere around here. It was definitely here. Son of a bitch. I was like at the top... Oh, I don't really want that, but whatever. I I have no recollection where I saw it. Like, let's not even pretend. Really, man? It's going... Ugh, 15 seconds. This is the entrance! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. Let's just go find an open space. Where I can dodge. The freaking jelly. It's coming. All right, this is pretty open. This is pretty open. Let's just wait. Let's find number three that I already saw. But I am too freaking full. There it is. It was right there. And now I don't remember where the exit was. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, I'm pretty sure it was in the corner, the left corner. Holy crap. Please don't, don't evaporate me. Oh, it was not in the left corner at all. <laughs> all right, another crisis averted. This is what happens. This is what happens. I go into any kind of discussion of things in my head, I get instantly murdered, or rather, you know, harassed. So, head in the game. Balls, I'm popping them. Exits, I'm finding them. Exit this top right. Very, very easy exit this time around. Love the dwellings. Now that I have taken to always carrying a corpse. I mean, obviously right now I don't have one, but... You know, clearly it shows that I don't have a corpse in my hand! <laughs> just gotta... Just gotta stop stressing out. I wasn't, like, I wasn't in... 
I think if I had been in open space, I would have been far more careful. Should be able to get it, no, no problem. Let me just bomb it from the top and that will uh, give me plenty of time to get where I want to be. There you go. If I had been in open space, I would have been far more paranoid about arrow traps since I was in a safe position. I was not terribly careful. That's number two already. Very, very nice. Very nice. Please, no more parachutes. <laughs> I've had enough. Love to give me parachutes. This fella is a little annoying. Saved by whatever the hell ricochet all the way over there. Another crate. This is number three, right? And that's the exit. We can uh, bomb this way. Should be trivial. Nice. Another level complete. Look! I haven't even kept track. 23, all right. Well, I thought I was further than that, honestly, but uh, I've I've completely lost track of, of how far we were. Let's get rid of the damn cats. Get rid of the cats. Get rid of everything. And we carry on. Temple. Serious business. We don't mess around. Tempted to put like three bombs in succession just to make a path up there. There's bubble number one. Actually, that's number two. All right, never mind. And there's number three, and we see the exit. Is this a loop, though? Yeah, this is the loop. So it should be. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I just saw poison. You gotta be careful of that. It's just. Oh, there's poison everywhere. <laughs> Please, no poison. Please, leave, let me be. I just want. Oh, I just want to. I want to get to the end. All right. So it's not really a loop. I mean, I think I will loop to get to this exit. Maybe not. Where is it? Yeah, it was down here. It's kind of tricky to go either way. I think I would rather go up. Just yeah, just just roll. There's all this poison in the loop. All this nonsense. With that. Alrighty. Another accomplishment. This damn temple levels. Nice. Some sunken city nonsense. Always happy to get a break from the actual awful places. This place constantly throws at me. Just don't get obliterated by respawning war meat. Ouch. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I can handle it. Check out my frog whipping truly the stuff of legends and even though i keep taking damage my health keeps pulling ahead thanks to bladscape baby all right we have found zero balls so far i'd like to find more balls to bust i would appreciate it this was not the way to go <laughs> there's a crate over there though probably i won't get to it it's uh kind of complicated to get where are the bubbles, please? Nice. Some bombs. I've been spending quite a few. I think it's just I started with, you know, I spent a ton in the Hundun fiasco. The snaking needed to be busted. All right. We have found one, one bubble. Mm -mm -mm. Amazing. <laughs> but it does seem like they're all on the right hand side. I've explored most of the left side. Left side. So hopefully I'll find them quickly on this side. And oh, there you go. Man, I, I'm a freaking recognizant. I'm so good. Of course, we need to find the exit. Don't think I've. Yeah, didn't I see it? It was like next to the entrance. But uh, I don't really remember what that was. So let's just uh, go find it. I have a minute. Oh, nice. Can I get there without spending our resource? Uh, I'm getting to that point where I'm like. Oh, look, a frog opened the way. Thank you so much, little amphibian friend. That was some explosive enthusiasm you had. Let me get all the way back up there. Oh, we can actually maybe get that crate. We have time, right? Yummy. And this crate. Getting greedy. How will I be punished? That was super not worth it. Sure. Still need to bump my way out of here because... You see, the, the tube that I took here 
is now blocked. So that was massively worthless. Guess we got an easy exit here. That was way closer than it needed to be, but we're going to gloss over that. Obviously, I know exactly what I was doing. So, stop judging me. Keep consuming product. Ask no questions. Consume product. Get ready to consume next product. It's all great. Number two already. Give me a third easy one. Next it already found. It is left middle. Yeah, middle left. Something like that. I mean right. That's right. Look, I, I'm, I've always had that problem with saying left when I mean right. I'm saying right when I mean left. I basically flip a coin inside my head and will say one of them. And hopefully I am correct. If not, I instantly correct myself. Something I have mentioned several times. I'm not the only one in the world that has this problem. But boy, is, this an, is it annoying as hell. I constantly have to correct myself because I, I just don't know what my mouth wants to say. It's a little upsetting. Two bubbles were easy. The third one's playing hard to get. It's like the third sister in that family that I was after in a very sexual manner. Third sister, man. She's the youngest. You just would not climb into my bed. Can't believe it. It took some drugs and some rope, but I finally made it happen. Anyway, that's a story for a different day. I had my day in court. Coming up, end of July. It's gonna be tough to explain it to the judge, but I think if I slip them enough money, we're not going to talk about. Oh, shush. Just, I just, I just want the exit, brother. Just, just tell me. It's... We're gonna talk about this lava. We're just going to hope this lava does not become a problem. Is what I was in the back of my head. This is a nightmare. Please find cover and let the explosions pass. Number one. There's a Yeti in the loop. Mind the Yeti in the loop. This guy could loop at me, so... Gotta be careful. Alright, there's another. Number two has been found. No exit so far. That is a dastardly trap. Seems harmless, but it will be your ruin. If you go in there and just fail to jump a little bit over the platform and all that. Oh, there's the exit. Very, very easy exit. Gotta find the last bubble, baby. Give me that bubble. Do squats and sit-ups. Please don't lose that butt. Okay. Please. That traverse most of the level. It's actually a very tall. Extremely tall level. This is the trap that I was in before. Let's completely reject it once more nope the hell out of that place there it is oh, we blow it up and we'll just go down it's probably going to come up from the bottom yep it's a super long super tall level all right hey the exit is at the bottom one of the sides don't know which yet and with the bubbles so close together oh, it's actually a very short level huh Nice. Okay, easy. Just don't get destroyed from the bottom. The same concern. Always have at the bravo. There you go. You never know who may come up behind you and give you the chocolate starfish surprise. Let's try all these complications, please. Let's just get rid of all these complications. They're just so stressful around the exit. Get rid of these bitches. Oh yeah, feels good. <laughs> destroy, destroy, destroy. And there's a snake at the exit, but that shouldn't be that much of a problem. Oh man, some beautiful, fantastic stuff over here. And clearly we're going to leave that last bubble at the top next to the exit. Like I said before, I am almost certain that carrying a corpse will protect you from poison. Certainly not from an uh, enchantress projectile. But uh, the corpse will protect you from poison, I believe. So, worth carrying. There's no real uh, downside to it. Alright. I could make a test, but I am too much of a chicken. Let's just hope I never have to test it out, alright? Or I never find out, is what I'm trying to say. 
Oh, there has to be one more. Bolt pop. Looking forward to such thing. So I can leave this accursed place. Also, part of the policy has been to send all the crush traps up at the top. It really works quite nicely. All right, we actually got it all. Now I need to find the exit again, which was very much at the bottom. Oh, this is bad. Tested has been that projectiles from the ladies do not get blocked. My heart has been tested as well. Or I almost get an attack to it. Let me just get out of here to a place that will not stress me out, okay? I think that we're very close to where the... Oh, man. This is way harder than I need it to be. <laughs> just bomb my way out of this nonsense. That croc, man! Stop chasing me! All right, all right. We're there, we're there. Right there. Get me out of here. Please don't come on top. Please don't come on top. Don't do it. All right. Son of a bitch. 729. Almost one third of the way in. <laughs> it feels so much long. It feels like we're already at 50, man. Uh, and this scene has been pretty great. It's just only now that has gone way harder. All these damn levels are absolutely insane. It's a crockman at the exit, but he shouldn't be too much trouble. Especially if I create my very own path. Well, that was not exactly a jump I meant to make, so just uh, a swift correction there, and it's all good. It's all great. This run is going places. Just gotta keep popping them bubbles. Number one. 63 health. Only instant death can kill me. And you know that I'm really good at avoiding that, so... Clearly this is going to be the run. It's going to be. Yeah, I really need to stop saying that. <laughs> oh, 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 careful here. I need to stop saying this is gonna be the run. Because it's never the run when I say it. I mean, obviously, a little bit of confirmation bias there. Maybe the one I do get the the actual win, I also say it, and simply by all the percentages, you know. Let me just blow up the platform at the start, like I always do, the force field. When I have plenty of bombs, I will do it every time. Ah, this is the last one, right? This is the last one. Pretty sure. Yeah. Wow, that came way faster. That came way faster than I expected. Therefore, look at all those sparks at the excess. Nuts. Please stop with the temple. Stop it. Number two. Seems like a short one, though. But appreciate it. I think I just saw poison in the loop, so let's not go that way. All right. Ooh, almost got stunned by that skull. Oof. That could have been bad. <laughs> That's it. I think there's poison in the loop, like I said. Ah, you're the big culprit over here. Scumbag. Destroy. Also a kitty? More kitty? Just carry on destroying everything. More poison in the loop? Oh no, it's actually something that's dropping on the quicksand. Let's see if we can destroy it. Ah, that's very easy. Careful with this guy, though. Oh, that's gonna come all the way around, isn't it? You uh, dra <laughs> and dragging the bubble, huh? I think it's the last one too. How do I go about this? I guess just attach a bomb as it comes, right? My bombs are not explosive, but thankfully, it doesn't even matter because I am a freaking ace at calculation. Never mind all the other instances in this very run where I have sucked balls at doing something like that. This completely redeems me. So so good. You may even say, oh, that was actually really easy. You just need to roughly calculate a little. Holy crap. Stop. Stop. There's only bubbles and exits. No. M mimicry of foolish comments. No. 
discussions about foolish issues. Nothing but game. Play. I think that's number two, I believe. Not sure though. Let's find out. Yeah, that's number two. There's a lot of all mites down there. Quite the all might convention. They're all fondling each other very merrily. Let me just make this easier for myself. Don't really get concerned with how many bombs I left until I have like 30. At that point, I'll start concerning them a little bit more. But uh, if I am above freaking 50, I'm going to splurge. All right, just gotta find number three. And we have a very nice line to the exit. With all the sparks, very nice to have blown that one up. Bad elevators here, terrible. Ah, oh, there it is, nice. Kind of hard to get back though. Ooh. Kind of hard to get back to this one, to, to the exit. Oh, I can probably just... Ooh, that, I, that alien could have been real bad. Um, I don't like the crate too, but... I should be able to just get back out there. All right, all right, just, just chill. Wait for the jelly. Should be able to get back to the exit. Without much trouble, we had a very good line toward it. This is definitely not it. <laughs> I thought I was lower than I actually was. Nope, 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 nope. There it is, there it is. All right, so good, everything's fine. I did blow a path that I did not need, but I'm glad I made it to the end. It's all good. Everything is fine. Uh, dwellings level, they seem to be so damn rare. See ourselves a little bit of a body. So we can have some insurance. Just wait so I can stomp it. Come on, fella. Just wake up so I can murder you. Wake up already so I can properly kill you. Tell my mother-in-law that. There you go. I was about to go into some other tire old joke. It's only bubbles. There's only exits. Focus. Just seek and destroy. That's me. That's my experience. Don't want to deal with these spikes, so I'm going to do it like this. Number two, right? Yep. Off it goes my body, but thankfully there was another one. Richard Smith will do that for you. Uh, those spiders are a little intimidating. Don't want to deal with it. There you are. Well, the arrow here, pretty easy to get through, but with some care. Always a big whore for crates. Maybe some spring shoes. That would be fantastic. This is the exit. Yep. Kind of tell. You can uh, tell the shape of it. It's always surrounded by those wooden blocks like that. The more you I do it, the more I can recognize exit, exit squares. There's only like two or three per biome. See, in, in the exit on the Sunken City, it will always have that kind of uh, gray blocks like that. In the temple, there can only be two. The side entrance and the one that is the, like a ziggurat. Oh, that's number three, isn't it? No, it's not. I'm glad it wasn't. Um, where else? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Please don't take me somewhere weird. All right, it's all good. <laughs> It did not l drag me to its lair and then insert itself in my rectum. At least I have that to th thank Cali for. No rectal insertion of a giant super tongue. Very welcome in the different environment, not in the sunken city. Oh, the, well, that was a very propitious little <laughs> bubble right there that I had not noticed before, in fact. Even though it was right next to the exit, I, I passed it. I literally passed the orb and I did not see it. So that was very fortunate to come across it. Um, come across it again. Here's number one, or at the very least number two. 
but it's next to the exit, so it pays to leave it there. There you are. It's next to the exit. What the hell? What the hell is the deal here? Probably just a loop, right? And I'll, I'll get it. It's at the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Oh. This is all blown up. Everything works out. Nothing can stop me. Ah, I just find them balls. Find them balls and pop them. Find the exit. It's all good. Things are going great. 736. Fantastic stuff. Let's destroy all the dangers. Uh, Pitcher Smith, sure. Nice. We got some balls. And there's the third. Nice. Let me. What? 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 It's a one block gap. It's a one block gap. This never killed you when it's on the floor. I've learned something new today. Congratulations! <laughs>